Hello guys, it's time for some Terraria. The sun's just coming up, so I better do this quick. Um, it turns out this character actually sells a Blendomatic at night. And I did not know that until I looked on the wiki. I've been wanting one of those for a very long time. Uh, sun is about to come up, right? Yeah. I'm curious about something. If I have her inventory open, is she gonna change it while I'm looking? Uh, when it when it becomes daytime? So just get okay. So Blendomatic is still there. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, and jetpack looks like it's only during the day. How about that? We still need to do something with those teleporters. Haven't haven't bothered to wire any up yet. But yeah, so we got a Blendomatic finally. I've been waiting for that for a long time. Uh, I'm gonna put it down, yeah, it looks like a fine spot. Let's make some asphalt. Let's make a whole bunch of it. Um I'll make like 60. So this stuff, uh, I've seen it in someone else's LP. Um, this lets you go really quick. So we're gonna use it for uh, building roads. Let's see, so what does it say? Uh, increases running speed. So let's just let's just put down a little uh, strip of it right here, just so we can see the effect before we go too nuts with it. Woo! <laughs> that is pretty amazing. So if we get up to speed here and <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to build some roads out of that. I like moving fast. Okay, uh, let me take that down. And uh, today, there's a couple of places we will be visiting. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Last episode was the one where we took down Plantera, I think. Um, feels like it's been a long time. I don't know. Maybe I skipped a day by accident or something. Um, YouTube's been having some serious problems with uploads lately, so I don't know when you guys are going to see this. Uh, it might not be at the normal time. What it does is it, it'll take my upload, but just sit there in processing forever and never, never get any farther. So, I don't know what's going on with them. It's been happening for several days now. Um, but nothing I can do, just have to retry the upload sometimes. And hope, it, hope it works the second time. Um, actually, before we go anywhere, uh, let me, I want to play with a couple of other things I happen to have found since last time. Not that chest, this one. Uh, so I bought this ice rod from the wizard, and it is a very nifty item. Let me show you what it does. So if you look at the description, it doesn't look too great. So 32 magic damage, oh, that's okay, summons a block of ice. What do you suppose that means? It means I can create platforms in the air. They don't stick around for very long. But that could be very useful for building. You know, I could put a put up a nice platform here and build something off of it. You know, um, if I didn't have wings, or even even with wings, this is pretty useful. Just go up here, make a platform under myself, and keep going up. So yeah, ice rod is a great item. Well worth the one platinum it cost. So I have one of those now. For some reason I feel like going into space with it. Whee! Okay, I'm up here now. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, so I have an ice rod. And another thing uh, I found in a mimic is this compass, which shows me my horizontal position. Ah, and that'll show me where spawn is, or I guess the center of the map. Right here. Okay, that's the center. Uh, and the compass can be combined with a platinum or gold watch and a um, uh, depth meter to make a GPS, which will show me all three of those things at a time. Oh, I also found this. Uh, this came from a red devil in the underworld. Apparently, I don't know if I've actually shown those guys. They, um, apparently there, they, there are new hard mode mobs down there, because they're pretty nasty, and they'll shoot uh, these things at you. But this is a pretty good weapon. It's, it's a little bit slow, but it's very strong. Um, hmm, I should reforge it to get the, get the speed back, but other than that, it's a pretty good, uh, Pretty good set of buffs. Oh, sorry, I just to <laughs> totally spaced out right there. Um, right, so I'm looking for... Uh, I need a platinum or gold watch. Which of those do I have more of? Gold. Okay. So I think I need ten gold bars. And a chain. I don't think I actually have a chain. Let's make one. Chains take iron or lead, right? I think that's right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, chain. And then we need a table and chair to actually craft the thing. I need to put, some, put up some pressure plates for those doors, just so I don't have to click on them as I go by. Um, there are pressure plates that are only triggered by players and not uh, 
I don't know if I've shown this. Um, let's see, activates when stepped on, activates when a player steps on it. And those are the ones, uh, brown and gray are the ones you find down uh, below in the, the natural generated traps. Uh, blue, I've never seen. Um, activates when anything but a player steps on it. So we could maybe do some useful stuff with those. But the thing that comes to mind uh, first is just to just to use them for opening doors, um, to let me in but not let mobs in. Um, right. Okay. So we're making a watch. There we go, gold watch. And at the tinker table, I should be able to do this. There we go. So we have a warding GPS. We have our horizontal position, our vertical position, and the time of day. So that's a cool item to have on us if we ever need such things. I mean, we have the map now, which kind of does show me my vertical and horizontal position. Not quite as precisely, but, um... But yeah, so we, we have that now if we want it. And time of day is often useful to have, but I'm gonna leave it in this chest for now, because I don't need it for what we're going to be doing right now. I'm gonna put this ice rod in my building supplies chest. Or I would if it weren't completely full. Yeah. <sighs> is there any of this stuff I don't want? Blech. I guess I'll throw away bone blocks. They're plentiful if I go to the dungeon. Uh, the dungeon is a place we will probably be going a little bit later, because as I discovered, uh, defeating Plantera seems to have... Um, that's a silver watch, I thought I've already had a uh, gold or platinum watch in there. Defeating Plantera seems to have, in addition to giving me the temple key, seems to have caused some new uh, monsters to spawn down there. I was going down there just to uh, get access to a cave in the underground crimson. I forget what I wanted in there, but I wanted to wanted to fight some stuff. Um, and I got my ass handed to me. I was surprised by some new, much tougher enemies. But before we go there, I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could move and talk about this at the same time. But we go to the map screen. Uh, before we go there, we're gonna head to the jungle temple. Which, yes, I dug way down here, went all the way around it, and, uh, I know I'm getting hit. Here's the door. Uh, it is locked. Oh, I'm silenced. <laughs> uh, but we have the key now, so we can get in there. Yeah, I never knew it was down there. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. I actually specifically set up a route to it that is much more convenient than the way I was going. Uh, since it's so close to the underworld, um... I just uh, set up a little passage here, almost almost bridged all the way over with wooden platforms, which was getting kind of ridiculous. I was using lots of wood, had to go out and chop more several times. But yeah, so we go all the way down here, run along the wooden platform, hover along the terrain for a little bit, then go up this elevator that I have, and we'll be right where we need to be. So uh, I, that's going to take a moment, and oh, to let my health regenerate. So yeah, this, that's going to take a moment. Maybe we'll see some of these red devils while we're down here. It always surprises me just how long it takes to get to the bottom of this thing. Large worlds are really large. Really tall. It's not like Minecraft where, you know, just the t uh, bottom 64 layers are are uh, solid and, and the rest is uh, air. It's kind of the opposite. Like the air is only about a fourth of the, the map. Speaking of Minecraft, um, Minecraft 1.7 comes out tomorrow, I think? Um, and I don't think I will be playing it. <laughs> um, I tried to start up Minecraft the other day, and I don't know, it just, eh. I just could not get into it. I think I'm, I'm pretty much Minecrafted out. Um, even though it's been like three and a half months since I posted anything, uh, well, posted a Feed the Beast video. I guess I've done a little bit of Legendary since then, but for the most part, since I've done anything Minecraft related on my channel, I still get people asking about it all the time. It seems like there's some people who are really only interested in watching Minecraft and no other game. So, um, I guess they've stayed subscribed to me, hoping I'll put up a Minecraft video again. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to, what to say about that or what to do about it. Um, I thought about putting up a video specifically to address it, but it just feels like it'd come across as negative, just saying, you know, uh, no, I'm not gonna play Minecraft, stop asking about it. So, <laughs> I don't really want to do that, but I don't know. Huh. So I'm just sort of going to leave it. Eventually people get the hint and either check out some of the other stuff I'm doing or, I don't know, go watch somebody else, I guess. 
But yeah, Minecraft was good while it lasted, but I'm I'm done with it. Uh, oh, hey, that's a mimic. Maybe not necessarily done forever. I don't want your loot to burn up. I would like to have it. I got it. It's another compass. Okay. I don't really need another, but I have one now. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah. I maybe I should have given my Minecraft series a uh, uh, proper conclusion because I I don't know they just sort of tapered off and stopped. But anyway, here's my elevator. I, I'm using this design we've shown before. So I just stand here, hands are completely off the keyboard, and up we go. It's kind of dizzying just how fast it is. So yeah, if anyone is, is watching this and is still not sure, uh, Feed the Beast is concluded. Legendary is probably concluded. I don't think I'll come back to that. Inferno Mines is concluded. So yeah, no more Minecraft. But okay, yeah, so this temple is the home of the lizards, with lots of extra H's for some reason. And that has opened it up. Oh, hello. You're a lizard. Funny looking guy. Whoa! Okay. So they're bipeds and quadrupeds. Oh! Oh! Holy crap! There are some crazy traps in here! Are these... Are they just gonna bounce around forever? Neat. All right, so those... Can I can I take you? Flame trap. Can't mine any of these, not with this pick. Oh, dang it! <laughs> uh, can I can I mine... Hey, hello, hello! Wooden spike. Let's take these and the ones in the ceiling, if I can. Here we go, spiky ball trap. Cool, so there's new traps. There we go. New furniture. Lizard pressure plate, how about that? Yeah, I really don't know what to expect in here. This is my first time seeing any of this. Ooh, five snakes, huh? Oh, there's another pressure plate. What'd that one do? Ah, oh, more spiky. <laughs> more spiky things. Let's use this unholy trident. Oh, that didn't go so well. Stupid tortoise. I really wish I had something to go through walls. So few weapons can do that. I know the uh, the vile thorn can, but I didn't didn't keep mine around. I've way out leveled it anyway. By now. Oh man. Oh man. I am I'm getting owned in here. I should have brought some buffs. All right, that guy's gotta go. Where is he? There we go. <laughs> Life crystal. Like, I'm gonna need that at this point in the game. Not a chance. Ow! Ow! Alright, let me take those. I, I guess I'm getting the life crystal since it's there. Okay. They sell for a decent amount. Do I have anything I can put on to regenerate better? Mm, not on me. All right, let's just ignore the wooden spikes. Ow! Ow! I'll try to. What's this? It's nothing. It's a piece of a corpse. Woo! Oh, so many of these guys. I'll just hang around up here and pee on them. <laughs> nice. So many spawned right there. Oh! Must take furniture. Oh, that wasn't furniture. Oh! 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 oh. Okay. All right, let's take these. I see lots of them. Those pressure plates really blend in. Gimme. Is that a chest? Yeah, we found a chest. Anything good in it? Ooh. Uh, uh, wait, I wanted to look in that chest. Leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, lizard power cell. Use a lizard altar. Okay. Guess we'll see what that's about. Ah, uh, deactivated my torch. Ah, oh, well, whatever. I'll, I'll just place a new one. There we go. Hmm, free bomb. Must have been a pot there. Another one of these. Another power cell. Cool. Not again! 
These things are all over the place. All right, give me that pressure plate. It looks like I'm out of torches. We need some more of those. All right, there are lots of these things here. I'm just going to take all of them, because I don't want to be trapped by them. I should just assume all the ceilings are covered in them, because it seems like that's the case so far. So many of them! Good grief! Okay, I killed them all before they got to me. Cool, another one of these power cell things. Really curious to see what those do. Hmm. So I assume there's some sort of altar deeper in here that I can use these power cells at, and they'll... Oh, man, seriously. And they will, uh... Give me something good that maybe I can make a new pick out of and break this stuff? I don't know. Get away from me, spiky balls! Jeez! Give me that. There we go. Hey. Uh, eh. There we go. Hey, hey, yeah, not pickaxe. There we go. <laughs> Having a little trouble with my controls here. Oh, damn it. Okay, these look different. Spear trap. Ooh. No, don't die, don't die. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, five life. I'm just going to chill out here for a moment. <laughs> oh, that's a statue. Oh, that was a guy coming to get me. Uh, maybe I should uh, block myself in or something. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. I need to heal. There we go. I need to proceed more carefully here, because I'm just kind of charging in and taking way too much damage. I do want to see what these spear traps do, though. Woo! Okay. Give them to me. What is the story with these power cells? And how much of this place have I explored so far? About half of it. Ow. Uh, up. Mm. Seriously, there is a trap on every single possible place they could put one, it looks like. It's ridiculous. Ah, come on now. Yeah, I get hit by your own spiky balls. I should, uh, let's throw some lighting here so I can actually see where I'm going before I go there. Oh man, oh man. Ah, uh, let's do this. There we go. Oh, I figured out with this harp, um, the uh, different tones mean different speeds of notes, and it's the distance from your, uh, from your character that determines which ones you're shooting. So I'm not sure when that's really useful, like when you'd not want to shoot the fastest one. But if we ever find a use to that, that's how the harp works. Yeah, and I guess Rainbow Rod's good for this, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's great. A little bit slow, but... <laughs> oh, this amuses me. Okay. Anyway, let's just get down here. I see that pressure plate. I want nothing to do with it. Oh, I didn't see that one, though. Frost Hydro is on top of it. Gimme. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oop. Drink another. I guess once I take out the pressure plates, I don't have to worry about these. I can come back from later. Uh, let's just try and get all those pressure plates. Proceeding slowly here. So there's just sort of zigzags around downward toward the... I can see through the wall at one point, and I kind of saw a, um, something in here. Uh, nothing much, I guess. Alright, so I want to find this altar. Man, they seem to get immune to knockback when they go down on all fours, like, ow! Like that. That's a lot of money. 
No, 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 no. Ow. All right, this place is mostly clear. Next layer. Yeah, I dug pretty much all the way around this thing before I could, holy shit, uh, before I could find the entrance. This is a ridiculous number of these guys. No, 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 no. Give me that pressure plate, and that one too. on another Hydra. That should help. I like that Hydra. I just wish it would uh, shoot a little bit faster. Ow, ow. Surprisingly, I haven't died yet. <laughs> I shouldn't say things like that. I tend to die in mid-sentence when I do. Okay, uh, let me get back over there and actually bring some buffs this time, and we will try that again. Ah, uh, seriously? Goblin army now? Ah, I just came down here all ready for this, but... Mm, I'm gonna see if I can ignore them. I don't think I can get to my NPCs. Oh, hey, Voodoo Demon. Let's get that. Oh, here's another cool item. This uh, magic dagger. So it's like the throwing knives, but it uses mana and never runs out. Well, unless, until you run out of mana. Very fast speed, too. Um, you can throw lots of them. Well, deplete your mana pretty quick, too. And you know what this platform should be made out of? Asphalt. That would make me so much faster. Oh, and here's one of these red devils I was telling you about. I don't think we've... We might not have seen one of these on camera, but yeah, they're, they're nasty little buggers. Those, uh, those lances hurt. But apparently they occasionally drop the book, and I got lucky enough to get one. Or not book, it's a trident. Have not seen Demon Scythe yet, I'm surprised. I thought it was a relatively common thing. But yeah, I'm almost back over here. Yeah, just gonna try ignoring the goblin army. Yes, yes, I know. Um, hopefully they'll either wait for me or just leave when I'm not there and they can't reach my NPCs. But if I see... okay, yeah, they're here. If I see any NPC death messages, I guess I'll head home and deal with it, but I'm hoping I would have to. Uh, brought lots of buffs, uh, take up lots of inventory space, um... So, yeah, basically brought uh, as many buffs as I would have, as if I were fighting a boss, because this, uh, these guys are pretty tough. So, hopefully this will keep me from dying. So, back in we go, let's buff up. Oh, I didn't even hear the, uh, oh, what the hell? Uh, I didn't even hear the, the drinking noise, I guess it's just because I drank so many. Ah, I got the door. Okay, so not the dagger. Uh, what about... You can stick with Golden Shower, that's pretty good. What about... I want something with a lot of knockback. Hmm. Piranha Gun's actually pretty good, but it's only gonna get one at a time, so... Not the best choice for that. What are you doing in here? Hang on, I'm gonna take out this one spike, because I'm gonna get hung up on it every time if I don't. Yeah, it takes a while. I don't think I have anything with any more knockback on it. Yeah, okay, so they get down to half, then they go down on all fours, so they're like two-phase enemies. These guys are a little easier. Oh, that's a mimic. Gave uh, me a Philosopher's Stone. I already have plenty of those. Oh, hey, there's Tim. I already have your hat, but I can get another one. I also ran into, uh, I think they were called Rune Wizards, Rune Casters, something like that down here. Uh, they gave me some unique vanity gear. Um, they're kind of nasty guys. I'm surprised you haven't seen them. They seem to always hang around this area. But maybe that's just been coincidence that this is where I've seen them. What are these? Oh, it's just blocks. Ah, same spear trap that killed me. <laughs> Got me again. Ah, let's take it down. There we go. Pressure plate. Okay, now we need to slow down. Be careful. Oh, man! <laughs> not careful enough. Did not see that pressure plate. They, they blend in so well. It's crazy. Those flame traps are awesome, though. wonder if I can use them for... Uh, well, that was just a plain old dart trap, wasn't it? 
Yeah. Super dart trap. Ooh, okay. Ah, damn it. Seriously, every single trap <laughs> it's gonna be set off by my clumsy feet. Not this one. Must loot all the furniture. Damn it! <laughs> oh man, even with the buffs, I'm still dying in here. <sighs> no, I see it, I see it! Ah, I dodged it. Didn't see that, but I saw the pressure plate. Man, what can I do to keep these guys off me? Guess I just gotta kill them before they get to me. Am I almost there yet? Yeah, it looks like one or two more layers. Ow. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, so we're at the edge here. Is that anything? No. These spikes have got to go. Stay off me, stay off me, stay off me! Good. Lizard Watcher statue. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Um, been collecting those. Oh, oh, oh. I was even looking for pressure plates, and still somehow I didn't see any of these three. So camouflaged. I see this one, I see this one. Some of my buffs have worn off. That's a mimic. I think I just got super dot trapped. Eh, didn't kill me. Cross necklace, okay, that came out of the mimic. Gimme! Oh, I, I didn't loot it. Um, let's stick some stuff in the safe. Uh, things that will not stack. What? What is going on here? Oh. So I'm gonna get more of. Oh, hey, multicolored wires. How about that? They're clever lizards. Um. Yeah, just putting a few things in here because I expect to pick up more of all of those things. So that should do it. I'm almost out of healing potions. That's not good. I'm going through those things real quick. Should have brought more. And I'm going to need to take another one in a moment. Oh, hey, they drop power cells. Okay, okay. So aside from chests, I can get them as drops. Ah, this must be the altar. Ow, ow. Finally, okay. So we get to see what those do. He's supposed to summon a boss. That seems like the sort of thing they might do. Oh! Uh, seriously? Alright, give me all your pressure plates before I do anything with that altar. Last healing potion. Can I pick this up? Not with this pick. Oh, there's one. Now wait, wasn't there another... Oh, okay, so that area in there that I saw was, uh, was a place I already went through. Alright, let's give this a try. See what happens. I can't do it. I can't, uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, boy! Okay, well, there's the golem. Uh, uh, Hydra, I wish I had some buffs. Uh, what else do I need to do here? Just... Hide. <laughs> um. Uh. Uh. Here. Let's do, let's do this. Um. I. I need more life. I need more buffs. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna sort of hide here. Maybe he can't get through. Ow! He can shoot me. I'll just pee on him from here. <laughs> that seems to work. Can run out of mana eventually. No healing potions, no buffs other than, what is that, a water walking potion? Okay, uh, Piranha Gun? Just let that chew on his face. Okay, yeah, he doesn't seem to be able to get to me. So 
kind of cheating here and hiding in a spot where he can't get me. Oh! Oh, he shoots! Oh boy, oh boy. Is that going through walls? Oh man, oh man. Uh, let me... Mm, stop doing that! Oh, it goes through walls. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't just cheese him like that. Oh boy. Alright, let me get some more buffs. We'll come back in and try that again. Um... Oh! Well, Goblin Army did wait for me. <laughs> Alright, let me deal with them real quick. Uh, we've seen them plenty of times. Shouldn't take too long. It's a shame I took down my lava traps here. My uh, equipment collection is growing. I got most of the uh, basic stuff up to titanium here. Um, it's pretty cool. Who's who's going squish? Oh, it's probably some of those guys going in lava. Okay, good. All right, let me take care of this, and uh, I'll see you back over to the Wizard Temple for another attempt at the Golem fight. All right, I'm back here again now with potions and um, uh, campfires. Still not clear on what the range of campfires is, um, but they're cheap to make, so I just put five of them around here. Um, swapped out some of my accessories. I'm using the Mana Flower now. I couldn't find my old one. I think I might have sold it by accident, so I had to make a new one. Fortunately, I had a nature, Nature's Gift around. Um, also, somehow didn't have my Nimbus Rod on me, so that should help. Let's just do that early. Alright, so Nimbus Rod up here, Frost Hydra right here, and let's go! And I'm going to stay in the room this time, not try to do anything tricky with getting out of it and attacking him from there. I didn't buff. There we go. Let's see. Anything else I should do or just just keep spraying him with this thing, I guess. I can get uh, all three pieces at once if I do it from this angle. Oh, one cool thing about the harp is... Uh, oh, it does go through stuff. And it uh, also bounces off walls. Wow, somebody's doing those a lot of damage. Is that the harp or is it just... Okay, well, we're making some progress, and he's going to start shooting his lasers. What is happening? He's coming apart. <laughs> um, all right, let's get that hand down. And uh, heal. All right, see, single target. Rainbow Rod time. So many projectiles flying around. Go away, Angry Trapper. I don't want to deal with you right now. What is his head? Okay, Nimbus Rod needs to be renewed. Uh, okay, this is good single target damage. Uh... <laughs> heal! Heal! I can't heal! I'm on cooldown! Uh, uh oh. I need to get away from him for a moment. I'm just gonna hide. I can't hide! Can't hide from that! Okay. No way to hide. Nine seconds. Oh. His head's come apart completely. Alright. Or detached from his body completely. Heal! 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 There we go. <sighs> can I- can I take out the head or- no, just the body. The head's invincible. Alright, switch back to the rainbow rod. Oh, summon another frost hydra. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, take something. Just, uh, uh... This guy is no joke. Holy crap. Almost got him, almost got him. Yeah! Okay, we got the golem. Whew! That was a fight. That was a fun one. It's really good. Okay, just barely survived it. And what did we get? Staff of Earth. Oh, greater healing potion. We haven't seen those. We just have... Oh, yeah, we have. <laughs> my mistake. I thought it was one level above that. Okay, I didn't use my second set of buffs. That's fine. Where's this staff? Staff of Earth. Summons a powerful boulder. Oh, really? Now, what I'm wondering... He didn't drop me any ores or anything, so what I'm wondering is how I mine this stuff. I'm sure there's a way. Oh. Well, that's cool. Okay. Uh, it's not a material... I guess I could fight another one and hope he drops something different. Hmm. Or maybe the answer lies in the dungeon. That's possible. Or, or, option number three, maybe a new NPC is going to come now that I've uh, defeated him. That seems likely. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go back home. And let's see, I think I have an open house. Specifically, this one that I'm standing in right now. That's, that's my last one. Yeah, this housing's suitable. This is missing a table. And all the rest are occupied. So if I just put a table up here... No, I mean, that doesn't have a door, it doesn't have a... Alright, I'm curious. I don't know how the logic works. Uh, let me take... I'm, I'm sure I have some tables in my furniture chest. Oh, there's a chair! Interesting. No, 
Okay, now it now it tells me it's not valid housing after it tells me it's missing a table. Silly thing. <laughs> All right. Whatever. Anyway, um So yeah, I'm hoping that a new NPC will arrive. Um until then, let's spend a little bit of time exploring the dungeon. So we'll take the staff with us. Don't really need those with me, but um okay. Oh, well, there go the potions. That's fine. Didn't need them. I've just been dumping my lizard stuff in this lizard chest, which is fine. Um, okay, do that, get rid of the spiky ball, and we'll be ready to go. Alright, uh, I will see you over at the dungeon. Alright, here we are. I'm gonna have to get down uh, a little bit to see the interesting... What the hell? Did something change over here? I really don't remember that at all, but maybe it's always been that way. <laughs> just looks funny in the sunset. Uh, something I realized on the way over here is uh, I think they changed the way meteors work. Um, because I remember in 1.1, 1 .1, uh, I would just keep on getting more and more meteors regardless of how many shadow orbs I'd broken, I think. Um, yeah, okay, so we have these like blue armored bones here. They're a lot tougher than, than before. These guys didn't pop up until I defeated Plantera. We'll see some crazy wizards in a bit. But yeah, so I, I don't think... Uh, I, it's been a very long time since I saw any meteors, uh, so I think they must not fall anymore if you don't... Um, if you haven't uh, uh, broken a... Um, let's try this thing. Uh, if you haven't broken a shadow orb. Come on, find your way down there. Get him! Get him! Yeah, okay, that's a little hard to use. Let's do it this way. So yeah, that's nice. I don't have to put up any meteor shields or worry about them wrecking my landscape or anything. Which is a big improvement from what I expected, because I thought they were just going to keep on falling and falling. And what is this guy? Skeleton Commando? <laughs> okay. Whoa! Okay, so he has a rocket launcher, apparently. Didn't give it to me, though. Yeah, I think I was just coming down here to go caving, because I have a nice cave opening. What was that? Ectoplasm? Oh, oh boy, oh boy, so there's a Hammer Brother here. <laughs> Paladin. Oh man, he has, yeah, that's, that's the mage I was talking about, Necromancer. I'm, I'm slowed, I need, uh, I, uh mm -hmm, I'm about to die, I can't heal. I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run, and I died anyway. <laughs> yeah, so that's what the dungeon is like now. It is insanity. So... I can't look at the names of any of those guys because I have the magic mirror in my hand. All right, we got some ectoplasm out of that at least. So maybe that will tell us what we need to do here. Here we go. There's the specter gear. Okay. Okay, I see. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that looks nice. I would definitely like a suit of that. I'm going to need a lot of ectoplasm for it. Okay, 200% pickaxe power, plus 3 range. This one, this chlorophyte one, is, um, is, uh, also 200% pickaxe power, plus 1 range, so, does that not, is there yet another step beyond that that I need to do to mine the lizard stuff, or is this one gonna actually be enough? See, I don't know if it's the uh, pickaxe power that determines what blocks you can mine, or if it's just the specific item that you're using. Whoa! What? Oh, I see. Okay, so this is just a farther reaching paintbrush. That's cool! That's really cool that they thought of uh, upgrading the paintbrush like that. Okay, so we're gonna need some ectoplasm. I'm not entirely sure where that... where the ectoplasm that I got came from. Um, I mean, I, I killed this glowy blue thing, but it seemed to just appear out of a thing that I had killed uh, one of those skeleton guys. Hmm, I don't know. Let's go back there and give that another try. I'm gonna bring some buffs again. <laughs> Looks like I need to, can't go anywhere without these things and survive it. Uh, I'll bring two of each. I'm gonna need to brew some more shortly. Almost out of shine potions. I think those are just ones that I collected. I don't think I've ever actually brewed any of them, but they're nice to have. All right, two of each of those, and I think that's all the ones I care about. Oh, care about that one, definitely. Okay. Uh, I got my healing potions, we're good on that. Let's go. I'll see you guys over there. 
All right, I'm back in the dungeon. Man, I am sick and tired of making the run all the way over here. It's such a long way. So I'm going to probably have to... No, dang it. Uh, set up a teleporter network of some sort uh, between this episode and the next. So like from here to here, maybe, and then maybe one to Jungle Temple if I need to come back there. I don't know if the uh, golem's a worthwhile thing to farm, but I'd like to fight another. It was a fun fight. Um, yeah, so let's see if we can survive this place at all. So, better potions. I I feel like I should be using something else other than this golden shower as my primary weapon. Because it's really good, but it's kind of old gear. Like, you can make it as soon as you get to hard mode, basically. Um, or wait, does it take souls of sight? Or of, uh, something or other. Um, so I love it, but I feel like there's probably something that's a better option that would work work for me. Um, let's try... Ooh, that's, that's, that's pretty powerful. Maybe I should try some of those, uh, rocket launcher things, or grenade launcher, whatever they are. But that would be if I'd, uh, want to switch to, like, ranger armor and accessories, which I might do. It'd be fun. Seems like everybody I've seen play this game either goes, uh... Warrior or mage. I see almost nobody using ranged weapons. Mm. So it could be a fun thing to do. Alright, so I don't really have a destination in here. I'm just gonna sort of wander around and fight some of the new tough things. Um, Cause yeah, there's, there's those, um... Oh, something's exploding. There are those crazy chests. Ah, it's you. Okay, okay, that guy has exoplasm inside him, then you have to defeat that to get the actual item out of it. I see. What about this necromancer? Holy crap! Let me... Can I rainbow rod him, maybe? Okay, he moves every time you hit him. Does he drop any exoplasm? No. Nothing interesting. He slows me. What a bastard. Oh, so those necromancers are gonna be a major pain in the ass. I was in the middle of saying something, and I have absolutely no idea what it was. <laughs> so, whatever thought that might have been, it's gone now. Um, maybe it was about the chests in here? Yeah, I haven't found any new uh, keys to the, the crazy chests that are in here. Uh, sounds like they're a very low drop rate, and... Um, they're gonna get lower, or, or something? Something's changing in the 121 update that's... Uh, actually, I thought it was gonna be published by now, but it, I guess it's gonna be a little while yet. Um, so it should be out by by the time you see this, I think. Um, unless I misread the, the developer's tweet. All right, this paladin—we haven't killed one of those yet. Let's let's just put a piranha on him and leave it there for ages. <laughs> I think I'm safe up here. Uh, yeah. So the one-to-one -one update apparently uh, makes you gather materials from the. Yeah, you just keep doing that. You can't get to me, can you? Uh, makes you gather material rare drops from the. Oh, now you can get to me, bastard. There we go, buffs. Oh, man, this paladin. I'm, I'm gonna die! Holy crap. Um, can't talk and fight at the same time. Uh, apparently makes you gather rare drops and craft the keys out of them. I am almost dead. Seven health. Do not find me, Necromancer, please. I want to kill this paladin. No, 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 no! Ah, bastard! <laughs> Okay, those paladins are nasty. I don't know what to do to them. I just don't have anything that's that high damage. I'm gonna have to take another look and see if there's any uh, any better weapons I can make. So I'm wearing this hallowed armor. I really, uh, I actually really like the way the uh, uh, titanium armor looked, so I kept it on. So yeah, this is this is gonna be my look for now. The rose in the hair and the butterfly wings and titanium armor. I think it works pretty well. Oh, um, let me let me do this actually. Um, play dress up a little bit here. Uh, one thing that goes really well with the butterfly wings is this orichalcum suit. Let's put it on. Um, so if we look like this... Uh, I do like this. It, it matches them perfectly, but I think I like that other look just a little bit more. This is good. It just, you know, covers up a little too much of my skin. Uh, and it doesn't look as good if I have the rose in my hair. Um, as it does with the titanium armor. So yeah, it's it's either that full or a calcum suit or this configuration that I have now. Some of these suits look really good. I I'm yeah. So I'm I'm working on my collection here. This is all the all the I I'm done dungeon adventuring. So I'm just sort of spitballing now. Um, this is all the 
Spitballing? Is that even the right word to use there? I don't, I don't know. Uh, these are all the different wooden armors. Didn't actually realize you could make uh, different armors out of the other woods. I like the pearl wood uh, armor has a, has a unicorn horn on it. Uh, cactus armor. Hope the spines are on the outside and on the inside. Copper, tin, iron, lead, silver, tungsten. I really like the way the tungsten looks. Uh, tungsten bricks are actually really nice. I'm gonna probably build some stuff with that. Gold, platinum, shadow, uh, crimson. So I was kind of trying to go in order of power. It's not not exact, but it's close enough. Jungle, necro, um, meteor, molten, cobalt, palladium, mithril, orichalcum, adamantite, and titanium. So I guess next would be what? Hallowed, chlorophyte, one of those, or may maybe I skipped something. Um, so yeah, I just want to go sort of up the, uh, up the chain here in, in terms of power. And then down here, I'm kind of putting together vanity, uh, outfits. So here's the, here's the Eskimo suit, finally got a hood. Uh, I'm gonna need another of each of those to turn it into the pink one for that. Uh, these are the ninja boots. We should fight the King Slime again a few more times to get the rest of the ninja gear. Tim's hat, Viking hat, raincoat, rain hat. Uh, I need the archaeologist's gear. Um, that takes leather, which you make out of rotten chunks. And I need to spend some time in a corruption world, because you cannot get rotten chunks here, and I don't think you can make leather out of vertebrae. Let's check. Nope, sure can't. Okay. Yeah, so that's a that's a thing you can make with rotten chunks, but not vertebrae. So you don't you don't get the archaeologist's gear if you're in a in a crimson world. Uh <laughs> Link suit. This is, uh, oh yeah, this is the, uh, Runecaster gear that I found from the, oops, oops, broke that platform, uh, from the, um, rune wizard thing, broke that platform again, give me that, <laughs> I think I was aiming for the hat instead of the head where I needed to aim, but yeah, so it's pretty cool looking, it's just, they're just vanity items, so they're not, you know, don't have any cool effects, but they look nice. Anyway, um, I'd better stop here before I talk about clothes some more. I don't know what it is with these games. I just, I don't know. I, I really enjoy, you know, playing dress up, may, playing around with different different things you can wear in games like this. Um, but I also like adventuring. So I guess we'll spend some more time in the dungeon next time, see if we can take out some of those paladins. And um, not sure what else exactly we'll be doing. I'd like to see an eclipse, but... I don't know how to trigger one. I haven't seen one happen naturally, so you know, I, don't, I don't know about that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.